Oh, hey, sorry. Oh my goodness, that's so good. Welcome to WTMK Live, your holistic health and unconventional foodie destination. And today we're going to be talking about what the fat? So if you have anybody who you know could benefit from getting some great information and a super healthy, yummy snack, make sure you share this out. And for those of you who are watching on the replay, make sure you share it out to your friends. And also, when you jump in here, make sure you tell me where you're coming in from. If you're new, please type new in the chat. I'd love to connect with you. And so we're going to talk today about fats. So when you're trying to maintain your blood sugar and lose weight and be healthy, there's some things that you really need to think about when choosing the fats that you use in your diet. And one of the most healthy fats that you can have in your diet is monounsaturated fats. So where do, the, where do you get them from? Well, you get them from olive oil, which probably everybody knows, but you also get them from avocados is another great, great source for that. And the reason that you want to have monounsaturated fats is because they are critical uh, to being healthy and, and healthy fats are critical to, because they have antioxidants, they have lots of minerals, they have lots of uh, vitamins. So uh, today we're going to be making, can you believe it, chocolate pudding? But you're not going to believe what the ingredient is that's in it. I know, it's crazy, right? The avocado. Can you believe that? Well, first of all, did you know that avocados are fruits, not vegetables? That's why they kind of go that you can either do them savory or sweet. And this was actually the very first time that I made chocolate pudding with avocado. And I have to tell you, it is so good. And guess what else? I made, when I made it this morning to test out the recipe and everything, make sure I had everything just perfect for you guys today. Um, my Richie was getting ready to go out fish, uh, not fishing. He went to the gun range today to sight in his new rifle. And um, I said, why don't I make you a lunch? I said, I just made this great chocolate pudding. He's like, okay. So I was dishing it up in the dish for him and he, took a little spoonful out of the dish and he's like, mmm, this is good. So not only is it good, but it can even fool people that don't even, because he does not like avocado at all. So there's another really cool tip for you. Oh, wait, I forgot to introduce myself. If we haven't met before, my name is Colette Wydeck. I am a certified integrative nutrition health coach and I am super passionate about helping people who are struggling and are frustrated with their efforts to control their blood sugar, lower their cholesterol levels, and or lose weight. So that's what I do, that's what I love to do. So uh, let's talk about a little bit more about what avocados are super extra good for. Oh, let me see first here. Oh, hey Shane. And Daniel, oh, hi, Holly, how are you, sweetheart? How's that little girl? She is so adorable. Love her. Hey, Linda, so glad to have everybody in today. So, um, avocados are super good. I'm going to, I kind of like made a little cheat sheet because there's so many things. I just don't want to forget any of them. So, um, yeah, they are, they help to improve your heart health. And why is that? because they do such a good job of keeping your lipid levels, which is your cholesterol levels, in your blood stable. They also help to balance your hormones, which is why they're super good for thyroid health. So if you're having any thyroid issues, add some avocado. Uh, something else that was is of particular interest to those of you who are pre-diabetic or have diabetes is that the monounsaturated fats <clears throat> helps to decrease your blood glucose and your insulin levels for hours. So that's super important. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, they because they have they're great for digestion because avocados actually have the very most protein and the least amount of sugar of any other fruit. So if you're struggling with any, you know, digestive issues, another great reason to add in some avocado into your diet. Uh, also, they are very high in folate, which is really important if you are pregnant because it helps to prevent birth defects. So if you are pregnant, planning on becoming pregnant, or have, you know, a daughter or a daughter-in-law who is, you know, going to be having a baby, avocados too. Oh, and something else that was I found interesting, and that is that studies have shown that people eat who eat avocados have typically have a healthier diet overall. So that's a pretty good reason to do it too, right? Another thing that uh, avocado really helps is with cognitive function too. So we all want to keep our brains in great working order. So another great reason to add in some avocado. So let's get started on this recipe, shall we? Oh, hey, Sherry. Oh, my goodness. My girl, Sherry, from the track. How are you? Long time no see. We've got to get together, like, soon. Okay, so let's let me get this camera turned down here so you can see what I'm doing. And the first thing we're going to do is... We've got, I've got a half a cup of, well, we're going to make a half a cup of munched up medjool dates. And you're going to need to have about, oh, I'd say, I don't know, 10, 15 dates in order to get that amount much, munched up. And dates are super good. And what you do with these dates is you just like soak them in some warm water. I soaked them for about, mm, I guess it was about a couple of hours. And I'm just taking the seeds out of them here, you can see. And I'm just going to dump them right in to my food processor here. And dates. Now, I know that some of you who are, you know, really on the whole, the low carb thing, uh, this recipe may not be for you. However, um, these are complex carbohydrates. And because there's so much. Uh, monounsaturated fat in here because of the avocado and because there is zero added other sugars the only sugar that's in here is the is the dates and I got then some honey we're gonna add in some raw honey as well but those two the dates and the raw honey are on my li t list of top five sugars that you should be using in your diet because they are natural sugars and they have lots of nutrients, vitamins, and all the other kind of stuff uh, to help you out with your diet and help to keep your blood sugar stable as well. So just because something may be like high in carbs or high in sugar does not necessarily mean that it's going to, to be uh, detrimental to your health. So what I would say is if you are diabetic or pre-diabetic and you're watching your blood sugar, what I would do is, Try it, test, and, and see how that goes. Okay, wait, I'm supposed to add something else. Oh, yeah. Huh. So here I've got a half a cup of raw honey. And this recipe is going to make about eight or ten servings. Oh, and something else. You know, school's going to be starting up again before too long. Sorry, kids. And uh, this would be a great thing to make, put in your kids' uh, lunch every day. So we're just going to munch this up. Oh, boy, is that looking good already, huh? Hey, Keisha. Hello, Diane. Hey, Daniel. My goodness, so many people joining me in today. Where are y'all coming in from? Do you guys all like avocado? Let me know in the, in the, uh, in the chat there if you guys all like avocado. I know some people do, some people don't. Okay, so we got that all munched up. Now to that, we're going to add in two avocado. And I will admit, I was not really very prepared. So my avocados aren't quite as ripe as they could be. However, they're still good. So we'll just get this in here so we can 
smush it up. Just use the same spoon, that's fine. Honey's all going in the same spot, right? So who likes who likes avocado? I really like avocado, and and but my Richie he hates avocado. Will not touch guacamole to you know save his life. And avocado is really good thing. You can use it like we're using it in a dessert today. But I also really like to use avocado just to munch it up and use it like a sandwich spread. Uh, instead of using mayonnaise because it's so much better for you because mayonnaise the, the the problem with mayonnaise is that it's made with canola oil and canola oil is a polyunsaturated fat as is other uh, oils like corn oil and safflower oil and while they may be a little on the healthy side well canola oil definitely is not but uh, safflower oil may be kind of on the healthy side because it's a polyunsaturated fat. It can it can really work against you. So you want to try to stick with fats that are monounsaturated. Oh, it looks like my looks like my Maggie has jumped up on the stove behind us here. <laughs> you know, you just can't keep kitty cats off of the counters, right? Gave up on that a long time ago. Especially I have a huge window above my sink, and they love to jump up in that window. Okay, so let's just give this a little mash. It's not too bad. Pretty soft. Smish this all up here. So we can put it in. Oh, there was another ingredient I forgot to put in already. Oh, oh well, that's okay. We can put it in now. There's also a teaspoon of vanilla extract in here. So we'll add that when we add in this avocado. Just get it smished up here so it won't be so hard for the food processor to get it going. And you can see, like, this, is, this dish is going to come together in just, like, five minutes. So super quick, super simple, super easy, super yummy. And because the whole family will enjoy it, hey, why not? Beats the heck out of, you know, throwing down a whole bag of Chips Ahoy cookies or something, right? Way more healthy for you. So here's my uh, teaspoon of um, ooh, chocolate. And this is three quarters of a cup of raw cocoa, you know, 100% organic all that and we'll just let this get itself all munched together might have to give it a little spatula action here in a second because <clears throat> it does get kind of thick as you can see it does get nice and thick and oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, that's looking so good. And here's the thing, if, especially if you want to, like, try to trick people and so they don't know that there's got avocado in there, you want to make, <laughs> make sure you get it all crunched up good so there's no green bits showing. Okay. Oh, wow. So good. All right, that's really thick too. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in a half a cup of water. And that's going to thin it out a little bit. <clears throat> Get that turned back on again. Oh, yeah. Hey, Becky. Oh, my goodness, Becky. How are you? Becky's a wonderful cook. She used to make us all kinds of goodies. Here, I got one for you here, Becky. Something nice and healthy. Feed it to your grandbabies. 
All right, let's take a look. Oh, wow, yeah, perfecto. Now you can see how nice and creamy that is. And it, you can see it's not runny at all. So, so good. Now, the other thing you could do with this is you could, let me bring this back up here. You could uh, put in like another half a cup of water and make it nice and thin and you could use it for fondue. So you could have, you know, dip, put it in a fondue pot and dip like strawberries or apple slices in it. Oh, how yummy would that be? I got to try that. That's delish. Okay, so uh, who would like to have the recipe? Type recipe in the, in the comments for me and I will get you the recipe. And uh, I also have a whole bunch of other really great recipes on my website. And I would really love it if you would join me. I have a Facebook community group. Uh, it's called Holistic Happy Living Community. And I would love it if you would come over and join us because in the group I put in lots of recipes. We talk about all things healthy, how to help uh, control your blood sugar, how to lose weight. Uh, every week I do a live Q&A in there. So would love to have you come join us in there. And also you can all go, go check out my website, get all my recipes. My website is holistichappyliving.com. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful rest of your Thursday. Have a great weekend coming up. And I will see you again right here next Thursday, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Until then, here's to your health. Bye-bye.